Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello, and welcome to an exciting unboxing I have for you today. I am, oh, I fell down the hole, the rabbit hole, and I got two paintings that I've kind of been eyeing off for the longest, longest time, and I'm excited to present them to you today. Stop, rewind, and let's start from the start, shall we? Hello, my name is Grace from Diamond Paint with Grace. If this is your first time stumbling across my channel, I would love for you to stumble, stay and subscribe. And how do you do that? By clicking the little button down there in the little corner and then hitting next to that the little notification bell, which will go ding each and every single time I upload a new video. If you're coming back for some exciting new uh, content and my first impressions of these two glorious paintings. Welcome back, welcome back. Again, I'm still collating the names from my world map, so please don't forget, peeps, put down in the comments if you wish to choose and want a shout out in my next roll call video where you are from, uh, put down where you're watching from in your part of the world. Okay, so I have two paintings from two different places. However, these paintings are available wherever you are in your part of the world or you should be able to source them okay you're going to know it'll it'll make more sense when we get onto the table and, and and i explain what's happened however i'm excited i'm excited can you tell can you tell oh my goodness all right let's stop with all this shenanigans let me flip the camera around get you onto the table and let's get onto the good stuff come with me guys come on come Okay, are you excited? I'm excited. All right, let me explain to you these two paintings, okay? One has come from Direct Dots Australia. The other one has come from Amazon, okay? So the reason that I'm showing them together is the one that I got from Amazon is actually available from Direct Dots Australia as well, okay? So are you wondering i don't know if i've gotten to this stage let me open my gorgeous knife given by the lovely sandra west and let's see what we have here uh, i won't show the other side because obviously it's got my address but we'll crack open to this puppy shipping i managed to catch this company when they had a sale and their, I think it's their, their long weekend sale or something, and I managed to score free express shipping. Let me just crack open this. And is anything going to be given away? Nope. Good, good, good. Now, I said I've fallen down a rabbit hole. Remember that? Okay, so. I've not seen any unboxings of this particular painting. I may have seen one of the previous, oh sorry, of the other painting that we're going to do today, but it was that long ago that I've forgotten. And I kind of have been inspired and enabled by a few fellow creators who have shown that they've purchased this same one. I thought, all right, I need to get into the business and see what is, um, all the fuss oh my goodness very well packaged thank you so much trevor at direct dots australia now you can see it is a diamond dots yes 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 it is and uh and so and trevor has a little promotion that with every order you get a free little pair of scissors so that's pretty cute emergency uh scissors <laughs> with every one of your orders so that's super cute Direct dots, uh, sorry, direct dots, diamond dots. Okay. Uh, kit contents, suitable for eight to 80 if you've never seen a diamond dots box before. I'm debating what do I do? Do I show you what I'm going to unbox? No. <laughs> I am going to keep it all in suspense. I am going to keep it in suspense because. Like I said, I've, uh, open, open. Oh, did you see that? I bet you you saw it. And I'm not gonna edit it. 
So it is what it is. I'll show you the outside of the box in a second. Just let's get the, oh gosh, oh wow. Anything else in here? No. All right, I'm gonna show you the box in a second. Let me get this puppy out. And I wanna get it relaxed. I'm not looking at it, okay guys? All right, let me just roll it back a little bit. I'm definitely not looking, okay? Promise, promise, promise. Let me put you that way a bit. It helped a little bit. Okay, in here we have a whole bunch of directions. Why does this camera keep moving? Play nice for mama, come on. Okay, a whole bunch of directions. Pick a language, any language, which is really cool. It's a universal craft, this one that we enjoy doing. And so that comes in there. And I, I don't know why, but sometimes directions come in different forms. This is the particular one that I've received. We're gonna yeet that across there. Look at these diamonds. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing special diamonds and special drills and everything like that. Oh, don't look. Let's have a look at this canvas. All right, I can see that it's the right way up. It is quite a rough sort of canvas, okay? The edges are scalloped, okay? But let's let's flip it around. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? You can probably see through here anyway. But anywho, let's do this together. Uno, due, e tre, and voila. <gasps> Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. This is The Kiss by Gustav Klimt. It's diamond dots. The Kiss is the name of the painting. Gustav is the first name and Klimt, K-L-I-M-T. A-B says that it's got A-Bs. Now, pause the video one sec. Okay, I was enabled by Elizabeth Inslee. I bought a scissors here just in case I will need it. Um, and it's funny because she had suggested this contraption here to use, um, and you can see it's a fondant jewel smoother. And like I, I'm always on the hunt for looking for items to use in our craft outside the box, yeah? Don't just look in your craft sections. And Elizabeth had made mention of using this to squash down drills or diamonds. Me, I am going to use it because, oh my gosh, I'm just, Hang on, let me just take in this painting for a minute. It is a partial, it is a partial, but, and what, what do I mean by partial? Partial means that it, the entire canvas is not diamond painted, okay? I'm trying to see if I can get it all in shot for you. How's that? Um, all right, I'll do it to the side. Um, so this here is not diamond painted. Her skin basically is not diamond painted, so her hand, his hand here, his, her face is not diamond painted, part of his face is not diamond painted, his hair is, but wow, wow, I, I don't even know where to start. Let's do one thing at a time. Why have I brought this little toy into play? So what I wanna do is, see if I can get this a little bit flatter for you. So let me, and it is poured glue. Whilst we're here, we'll check yeah, she's sticky enough. So, what I'm gonna use this for is this. I am going to, oh yeah, she works. I thought it might. Look at that, very nice. Um, the canvas itself is a little bit crinkly, like the actual canvas canvas, not the plastic. It is laying down relatively flat. It is a little bit crinkly there, which is a shame because that's not diamond painted. So no, you know, the drill, there's no drills that are gonna flatten that out, but we shall see. Oh, I'm liking this. So if you are one to struggle um, putting plastic up and down, there you go. This is, this is a bit of a, a bit of a gimmick maybe but it's certainly working 
There you go. And it's flattened it out a little bit. Wow, guys. Wow. So this is a big legend. Look at this. Like when I say big, it's printed beautifully big. Now, if you've never worked with diamond dots before, be aware that their symbols, okay, interestingly enough, there's not, not even any numbers on this at all, as in they don't work with DMC codes anyway, but you simply have the number and the symbol. So you're working purely on symbols here, which may work <coughs> really well as far as the way I kit up anyway. Um, because I'll just look for the symbol on here and then go to my uh, um, numbered container here. So there's 35, and what's this here? And then there's one, two, three, four. Oh, they're numbered, Gracie. I always do that. And then there's eight of these things here. Maybe they're special, the, the special dot. I don't know. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's, um, whilst I've got you here, crack right into this drill field. Oh, so these here look like actual special diamonds. I'm looking for clarity. I'm trying to look through what you're seeing. And you can see it is pretty clear too. There are considerable amounts of color blocking um, here. <coughs> color blocking. Look at all this. Here is all color blocking. And then there's lines. It's all um, lines. So you can get in there definitely with your multi-placer if you want to multi-place. This looks interesting. I'd like to know what these are. Oh, I can't wait to crack open into those diamonds. And then his hair is all color blocking. I mean, it could be androgynous. It could be, you know, whatever, however you interpret this art. Is it is it a man and a woman? I don't know. How do you interpret this? Uh, we do have a thumbnail here. That's really good. When it comes to diamond dots, they show you the full picture and then when you see the white spaces, that is the part that's not diamond painted. So as I said, the hands, the arms, the face, and part of his neck. <coughs> Pardon me. Wow, look at these swirls. And then, so along with the color blocking, then here, let's zoom you back in. Here, for those that enjoy confetti, you've got confetti. Now the symbol clarity is pretty clear. I love this because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna photocopy this, or I might not even have to photocopy it because we do get two. We do get two, um, one on either side. So I'm just trying to give you guys a real good bird's eye view of those symbols and what sort of drill field that you would be working with if this is something you've been thinking of getting that you haven't seen an unboxing before. Wow, those symbols are clear. These things here, I'm dying to know what these are. It looks like so much fun. So, so much fun. Holy moly. All right, let's zoom you back out. Oh, not that far, Gracie. Uh, there. All righty. So let's have a look and see what, what, what is all, what, what is going on in here? So it's labeled the kiss. Crinkle, crinkle. Uh, let's open this up. Oh, I'm excited. I can see. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. All righty. I see what you. Oh, what the? What is this? Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Let's, let's. Um, all right. Toolkit. Let's just do what we need to do properly first. We have a. You know I love me a caddy of wax. We get a grey boat, pink squishy, and a pen, okay? And some bag baggies as well to keep us going. Everything you need to do a diamond painting. Let's top that aside. Oh my gosh. Now, I can see. Yep. So diamond dots are notoriously famous by having static and I can see that already 
So I'm actually going to try something new when I come to doing a, a new Diamond Dots painting. I know that you can use um, dry sheets, which is what I do. And I've also been told that if you put them in the freezer for a length of time, it will work as well. So you know what guys, 24 hours before I'm ready to kit this baby up or even 48 hours prior, I'm gonna stick these in the freezer. And I'm gonna let you know how that goes, okay? I'm going to report back and let you know. Isn't that interesting? There's a square dime. Oh, this is round by the way. Oh, and that's an Aurora Borealis. Oh my gosh, I'm, wow. Holy moly, wow. Yeah, like they're all staticky. I don't know why. I don't know why. And if you've not experienced static before, trust me guys, you do want to deal with it sooner rather than later. And just getting a simple dryer sheet and grenading your, your uh, container and putting it in there will help. What I generally do is, well, what I've done until now is I've snipped that open, I've thrown the dry sheet in there, I've rubbed it around like that, and then I've poured it into my container. That's how I've kitted up my diamond dots previously. But, I've, you know, being that I've heard that throwing them in the freezer can help, I am going to do that. I may even actually do that and add it to the end of the video later and give you a bit of an update. So without, because there's no DMCs to go through, you can see each of the bags are numbered and each of these numbers will correlate to your legend down here. And this gives you an indication of the color palette that you're working with. So this is yellow, a yellow, don't ask me what color, what shade, what name they've given it. And this is a yellow Aurora Borealis. And if you don't know what an Aurora Borealis drill is or diamond, okay, it is an extra special coating that's popped over the side, uh, over the side, over the top of the diamonds, which makes them twinkle and sparkle. Look at that. So if you, it's really good that they've put the two yellows together. Can you see how this is, even though it's shiny, it's got a beautiful shine to it. Diamond dots have always got really nice facets and shines. But can you see how that's sparkling? So when you put these on your painting, not only are these gonna pop and sparkle and twinkle, but they're gonna pick up the sparkle and the twinkle of all their buddy drills next to them and then make them twinkle even more. So, oh my goodness. All right, so we've got an Aurora Borealis there, a yellow, which is gonna look spectacular throughout this. And then what have we got here? We've got heaps more static. They're all staticky. Mmm. greens and another yellow we've got some oranges oh look at this one and there's a pink one as well and a pink ab Ooh la la i likey likey so that's two ab's yeah the last thing you want to do is open these bags up because your diamonds are just going to fly everywhere now this looks i'm looking that would be black, I would assume. Um, 07. Generally, not always, and I don't know if someone is a Diamond Dots expert, you can tell me in the comments below. But generally when I've done Diamond Dots, this symbol here, which is the circle here, has been typically your black color, which is seven here. So two bags of that, which if you're used to, um, if you're used to DMC codes, that would be your 310. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh what? Get out. Shut the front door. We've got a third AB. Oh my gosh. So that is like a white or an off white. Can you see the twinkle and the sparkle? Oh, oh my goodness. And some browns, some tans. Oh, wow. You know what, guys? I'm going to do the quickest of experiments and put these in the freezer now and see if that helps at all. So let's go. You've seen how it looks. I'll see if putting it in there for any length of time is going to help, and then I'll come back and I'll show you. One sec. Nothing like doing a live experiment. Well, as live too as possible, right? <laughs> so what are all these little monkeys over here? Oh, look. Oh, 
Get out of the way, Mr. Cord. You don't want to be in the shot. I know you want to be in the shot, but you're not going to get to be in the shot. Let me flick you up here. Thank you. Okay, so we've got... So this must be these ones down here. When I said there's one through to eight down here. So, okay. So 41, how am I going to... Are they actually... Oh, they're numbered. Okay. All right, so... 41 in this instance is number six. Oh, okay, I see how to read this now. Yeah, sometimes I've got to, uh, you know, there's a little bit of assistance that's required. <laughs> okay, so if we put them in, oh my gosh, this. <gasps> that's just, this is considered part of, I should have thrown that in the freezer too, but this is, this is here, look at that. <gasps> They're actually gold, O M. G. I've got to find out where these go. I, 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 oh. Let me put these in order. Okay, 43, 38, 40. Oh my gosh, I can't even do it in the right order. <laughs> 37, 36, uh, 42, 39, 40, 41, and 43. Okay, so... Let's do these kind of one at a time. 35, look at that, guys. All right, so let's see where these go. This, we're looking for a circle. All right, let me put these here so I don't muck that up. We're looking for this symbol here, 35, okay? So let me scooch around and, oh, this chord is just not playing nicely today at all, okay. All right, um, it's which symbol, this symbol. Okay, so it's all, wow. Okay, so it's swirled in here, swirled in here. There's a lot of it, so I've got to, it must stand out like, you know, duck's nuts. Um, it's in here, it's swirled around. Okay, so there's going to be swirls. Okay, so there's swirls here. Swirl, 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 and swirl, 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 swirl here. And all, it, it must be some sort of line. And, okay, all right, so swirl. Okay, see these swirls? You're getting the hint now? It's a swirl thing. <laughs> swirl, you swirl it around. Oh, my gosh. And I reckon there's a lot of those swirls, and I'm just going to lift it up. Everywhere that you see, see See the swirl business? Yes, that's where these are going to go. So it's going to have these OMG, OMG, OMG. So that's where these are going to go. And there's two big bags of them. All right, so 36 is ooh, a purple round faceted thing. I don't know. I, 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 look, I'm not the best creator. I'm not the best YouTuber. I don't know the names of all these things. I'm just getting into my special diamonds and things. So I'll get an extra special little one in here. Look at that. He wanted to jump in the party. <laughs> this one here. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these. Now that is a 36. It's number one. So where's number one? Oh, okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. They give you, how many did I say? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So they've given me a few extra to play with, which is good because I can't see any others. So those purple ones are going to go there. Then we get number two, which is 37. What have we got there? Ooh, there are these diamond a, B, marquees. All right, so we're looking for the number two. And these are going to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. So they're going to go here and here. Can you see these? So they're going to go there. And then three is 38. What have we got here? Ooh, they're a teardrop. Look at, look at the facets on that. Just look, take that in, appreciate that just for one second. Oh, MG. And you get a whole bunch of these. So we're looking for the number three here. Oh, they're gonna go in her hair. They're gonna be the petals here. 
Look. Oh, oh no, no, not that one. These ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six. She's going to be blinged out in her hair. This girl, this chick is, you know, she's after my own heart. So they're going to go up there. And then 39 is, oh, blue teardrops. I mean, I'm assuming number four. Okay, so we're going to interchange the blue and the silver. So these ones here are going to go in these flowers. See? One, two, three. See how that, oh, and there's another one down here. Oh, and there's another one here of the three and the three. Oh, and there's another one of the four and the four. So, oh, wow. That's just going to be boom, blinged, 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 blinged. All right, let's keep going. Uh, 40 is number five, and that's these little square ones here. So, number five, number five, where for art thou number five? Number five. Ah, here. So it's here. So, oh, okay. And they're going to go in a, dim a diamond orientation. But, uh, rather than me lifting this, let me show you down here. See this? These, oh, oh, these here are going to go in a diamond, not square, diamond orientation. See what I mean? So how super cool is that? Oh my goodness! <gasps> I say it every time that I every time I get a new kit out, I want to start it. Uh, number six. So these ones here are dotted here, the fives. Six is, is uh, number forty-one is number six. Is it's like a rose gold? Oh, there's one janky one there. See that? But you're never going to get, you know, perfect diamonds no matter where you go. So that's the first one that I've seen. Um, so 41 is number six. Where does number six go? Come on, come on. It's like a where's Wally? Where's number six? I found number sevens. <coughs> oh, and there's number twos down here as well. Not number twos as in going to the toilet number twos, right? <laughs> um, what am I looking for? Number six, here we go. So six is going to go here, in, and again, it's in the di it's in the diamond orientation. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So they're just sprinkled, okay. And then we get forty two, which is a silver one, and we saw that these are down here. Oh my gosh, there's so bl so much bling on this, and you know. How, how many videos have you guys watched of mine where I always say, how am I going to gracie, gracie, twist, twist this? Hey, everything's provided for you. Everything is provided for you here. So these are these ones here that I was talking about. Remember when I said, oh my goodness, what a strange shape? Number eight. So that's going to be all up here, 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 down here, down here, down here, here. What an interesting, I've never worked with any of these shapes before. Not on this scale anyway. Wow, wow, wow. I cannot, I cannot. All right, so we've done the sticky. Let's pop these aside. Now, I should show you the box properly now. And what I'll do is I'm going to actually scooch all that out of shot because it's just a mess. And you know I don't like that. You don't want to know what happened just then. Everything went flying. What I'm going to do is actually put it here. Uh, straighten it up just a bit there. And here I'll put what the actual image should look like. If I put that on the right angle, hopefully it'll orientate properly for you. Okay. And you'll be able to see. So here you'll see what the image should look like um, when it's... Well, not when it's diamond painted, no, but what the actual original print is. Now, this is licensed artwork. Uh, diamond dots do deal only in licensed artwork, so you can purchase confidently. And this is, you know, um, I think it's considered one of the old masters too. So just to show you, if you've never had a diamond dots box before, okay, on the front, you actually do get a pictorial of what it looks like and it's what it looks like once it's diamond painted. So now I can actually see those, all those gold ones. See how they're going to swirl? <gasps> and look, that's how these ones are going to look. Oh, oh my heart. And it goes all the way around. It wraps all the way around. See that? Oh, and that's the marquee ones. Are they marquee? No, they're not marquee. Are they? 
the rectangle ones. Anyway, we're just going to go rectangle. And we've got diamond dots here, fun, easy, spectacular, all inclusive. And again, you get a thumbnail of, see the white bits? That's what is not diamond painted. Okay, so that's that. Now, let's do a measure. It does give you the measurements here. And it says design size is uh, 55.9 by 71.12. How specific is that? My goodness. And the fabric size is 64 by 80. Okay, so when they say fabric size, they're talking end to end. When they're talking design size, they're talking from here to here. Um, let me just have a look because typically, yes, and they've got, they've done it here as well. Yes, they have. So with the um, diamond dots, if you didn't know, there is the, te the teeniest of borders. It goes all the way around their canvases, which is not diamond painted. So if you can see, see this is the last symbol here. The glue stops there. And this here, this yellow bit here is not diamond painted. So you end up with a border all the way around. And it's not a yellow border, it's in line with whatever section of the painting that you're doing. Can you see that? Oh, I'm trying to peel that back. So this here, where my nail is, is not diamond painted. The very edge, it's, I, I haven't measured it, but it's you know a couple of mil thick. All right, so introducing my brand new tape measure. If you didn't watch my live, I encourage you to go back and have a look at my last live that I just did. But this is my new buddy so that we can do a measure. Now, 55.9 by 71.12. Holy gosh, talk about specific. So, this is how he works. We pull his tail out. <laughs> so, it's zero, and it is, if they go, see, I don't know if they're taking into account that, um, let me do it straight. So, I measure this at 56. So, where it says 50, yeah, 55, yeah, 55.9, that point 0.1, I mean, like, literally, are we going to even talk about it? Are we even going to? And then this way is, let's get it straight for the peoples, is 71. And, like, you know what? I am a scientist, but I'm not going to talk about the 71.12, yeah? So, true to size. Thank you, buddy. Oh, he worked like a charm. <laughs> so this is the Klimt. Now, at the moment, Direct Dots, which is located in Australia, he's a one-man show. His name's Trevor. He's got a massive end-of-year financial sale going. Go check him out. Um, if you are a, a Diamond Dots fan, go check him out. If you are a fan of this painting or any other... Diamond Dots paintings. He's got a massive, massive end of financial year sale because here in Australia, we are heading towards our end of financial year. So, wow. Wow, guys, just wow. I seriously, oh, I have got so many that I want to kit up right now. You have no idea. No idea. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. All right, let's pop this one aside and let's crack open this baby okay now those of you that might be familiar with this artist may oh that's just not cool may have an idea on what this one may actually be uh this one again came relatively quickly i'm only sorry that i didn't find direct dots before i had ordered this one because i ordered this one earlier oh let me turn it that way. Oh, no, I can't turn it that way. I can't turn it that way because it's got my address and... Uh, all right. Oh, my gosh, I've heard so much. And I am going to do a shout-out to... Who have I... I know... Lisette from Lisette Crafts and Towels um, is doing this in her um, whip and chats or she calls them whip and, what does she call them? Whip and, oh my gosh, Lisette, I've gone blank. But what we all typically know as a whip and chat, 
Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Lisette. But she is currently working on this. So I've seen, I, I, I typically try not to watch the screen because I knew this was coming and I thought, oh no, I want it to be a surprise. And I haven't done, like I said, I think I've seen one unboxing and I cannot for the life of me remember who did it and it was so long ago. I also know Christopher's got it and I know Abigail's got it. I don't know who else has got it. And um, like I said, as soon as I started seeing this painting coming up in everyone's thing, it's like I switched off because I wanted my take on it to be my own, which is, you know how I roll. So I don't think there should be anything else in here. Typically there isn't, unless there's a packing. Oh, there is a, no, no. No, 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 no packing slip. <laughs> Yeet. All right, there's no hiding Oh, what this one is, I don't think. So let's just turn it around, shall we? Wow, I got her. I finally got her, him, whatever your interpretation of art may be. Oh, well, actually it does say woman in gold. My, my apologies, Gustav. <laughs> it is a woman in gold. Wow, wow, wow. Um, if we go in line with what we were talking about before, this is again a partial, but you can see most of it is, um, it, it's only her face and her skin here. This one gives you a dots count of 70,800, mm -hmm, 34 colors. And it is a, wow. A whopping 75 by 99 or 67 by 91. Mamma mia. Let's get into it. Let's get into it because I'm excited. Now, as I said, if you're in Australia and you like these paintings, head on over to Direct Dots. I will link the details below, of course. They've got an amazing sale on. If you're not in Australia and Direct Dots doesn't, um what do you call it deliver overseas which i cannot remember i always forget to i've got to close this um and if they don't at least you're going to get an idea if you haven't seen these unboxed before which I'll, i'm sure most of you have but if you haven't oh wow there's a that that's heavy <laughs> oh dear that is heavy let's get her out Let's get this lady out, shall we? Let's get her out and relaxed. Oh, Lisette. Lisette, Abigail, Christopher, you're all to blame. Okay, this one's rolled a bit funny. Again, we've got the same sort of instructions. Yeet, that's my new favorite word. Let me, I have to roll this in a few different orientations, so. The canvas is, it's a strange canvas uh, in the sense that it's not your tarpaulin or it's not your soft lint, but it is, or I always find Diamond Dots canvases a pleasure to work on. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I'm doing it both ways because for some reason it was really, really, See how it's, it really just needs a little bit of flattening love. <laughs> all right, let's flick this woman around and see what she's all about. Up close, personal to me. Are you ready? Uno, e due, e tre. Oh, not done with any finesse. <gasps> oh, oh. How are you doing this, Lisette? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Well, I know why Lisette's enjoying it. Lisette is, and I know, I know I'm talking about a lot about Lisette. Um, she's a very dear friend of mine and a wonderful creator as well. Lisette is a massive, massive confetti lover. She loves her confetti. Let's see if this baby works. These canvases, they do... See, sometimes when I've received diamond dots, I don't know, I don't know the pattern and the rhyme or reason of how they do them, but they come actually also sometimes on a foam roller. 
these ones haven't and I wonder if that's part of the reason that this this crease has happened here so that will just take a bit of flattening thank goodness this is not double-sided adhesive that's all I've got to say I'm I am stumbling with my words because I'm just looking at the amount of absolute confetti in this Oh, mamma mia. Oh, mamma mia, mamma mia. And more mamma mia after that. Okay. I like the plastic. The cover on this is actually a nice substantial one too. It's not super, super thick. I've had thicker. Um, but it's not flimsy either. Like... Okay, wow. Wow. I guess tackling something like this, I can't even get it all in shot. Um, tackling something like this will definitely stand me in good practice for when I start my Josephine wall. So you can see here, this is partial. So when I say partial, this is not sticky. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Uh, I think maybe your hair is the only color blocking because <laughs> oh goodness gracious she is like let me get you down let's go down guys when I say confetti she's confetti uh, this is kind of reminiscent a bit of you know I don't mind that because it's kind of almost like a it's not, but it almost is like a Mandy Manzano sort of black outline. That's quite fun. But even up here, it's, you know, all different colours. Drill feel, though, is very, very clear. Again, this, I'm hoping, is it? It better be. Yes, it's around. Whew! I had a panic attack then. Oh, and it looks like we've got some more. See, now I know what I'm looking at. Some more special diamonds. Got a splash of colour happening up here. Oh, no, you can't see. Bit of splash here and here. Let me zoom you out again. I think you've got a pretty good idea of the quality of the... Oh, not that far out, Gracie. You're going to get to see all the good stuff like that. But, um... Wow, so, okay, so these are kind of like uh, eyes, is, is that, I, I interpret that like an eye, I mean it could be just a geometric pattern, but they're almost, I'm going to have to look up the background or the story behind this, behind both these paintings actually, because that's like, it's like a gown. But obviously she's draped in gold, absolutely draped in gold. Woman in gold, climped, uh, the design and fabric size there again. A legend down here and a legend up the top as well. Now, see how this is printed differently? This is what I've had before where it's got, now these numbers here guys, again, if you are new to Diamond Dots, these are not your DMC codes that you're used to seeing typically on most other paintings, okay? Diamond Dots have their own codes. There are books and charts and things that you can download and buy that if you want to keep these, you can, can um, like, you, the, there is a book that will tell you what 8021 in the DMC range number equivalent will be. Okay, so beautiful clear legend once again blacks so all these outlines these are all blacks okay all right and then down here it looks like we might get another lot of eight of those diamonds so let's crack into these ones and see what this now your color palette you can see straight away is very very different to uh the kiss yeah these are more muted you do not, have, so if, if, if the browns and the golds and more browns and browns and golds and 
yellows are not your thing, then maybe this, you know, might not be your thing. Maybe it is. Let me know. Have you ever been tempted to do this painting? Is it on your wish list? Have you done it? Let me know all the things. All right, so we're not gonna go over the toolkit again. We, oh, okay. They decided to give us two. Maybe they knew that we would need to have a buddy. <laughs> Although we've only got one tray, so that's really cool. Thanks for that, but all good in the hood. All right, and our uh, caddy of wax. Okay, let's pop that aside. Oh, it is labeled on the bag as well if you keep your diamonds separate. I keep everything back. When they come in a box, they stay in the box. So, wow. Wow. All right. If you like your tans and your yellows, this is the canvas for you. So, A10 is the equal sign, and that's going to be prevalent all around. I'm not even going to bother trying. It's You can see... There's a lot. Jeez, the twinkle is so bright. And you're seeing this in, in natural light, guys. I've got the curtain open. So we've got four bags of those. And then we've got, <clears throat> pardon me, three of these oranges. And then two of these yellows. And then a different shade of yellow here. And then we've got all our little ones. Oh, this is where the confetti fun starts because you can see there's not a lot in there. So that's where I think, oh gosh, you have to go pick and look for these little ones, but that's okay. A few different shades of greys. Okay. Uh, you know, just because we want to have some more fun, let's do some more tans. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five five of those and wow what's a woman oh my gosh and it just keeps going what the wow wow if i just say wow one more time wow it is the woman in gold so i guess we are going to be getting gold <gasps> how bright is this baby gonna be when she's done oh my gosh See, as I said, when I watch Lisette or when I listen to Lisette's um, whipping chats, I try not to look at her canvas and what she's doing because, like, I, I knew this was coming. I'm thinking, oh, all right. So what's all this here? Okay, we've got some more. We've got reds, the black. Is that the blacks? 8,001. 8, yeah, so I'm going to guess that that's the black. Not a lot. I thought there would be more. And dark browns here. And then, what is going on here? What is all this? So this, oh my gosh, people, people, people. Five thousand, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So they've listed this in the normal chart at the top. And it's the up arrow, which is this, what color is that? It's like a turquoisey. Turquoisey, is that a word? Aquamarine, is that a word? Oh, you can't see what I'm. It is just amaze balls. Oh my gosh, and there's two big chunky bags of it too. Where does this go? All right, we have to have a look. Oh my gosh, and there is like a silver. Wow, what's that? Is that like a. Oh, look. That's not even, it's not faceted. Is it focusing? It's like a pearl. I'm sure it is. Hang on, let me have a look properly. It is. It's like rounded. It's not, it's not, you know, it hasn't got facets. We have to, oh my gosh, we just have to. So there's a few little orange ABs in here. I'm not going to go through what an AB is again because we've already done that. So we've got an orange AB here, which is 2008 here. And this next one I'm thinking is, yep, 2005, which again, hang on, let me look properly. These are those pearly ones too. So they're, they're, they're rounded, guys. They're rounded. They're not, they're not, um, yeah, they don't have the facets like these ones. They're completely pearl, pearly, pearly. 
all righty so we've got here okay so is this yeah right so now we start down on on the special ones down here which is a i don't know an amber looking crystal and then we've got oh a faceted diamante crystal and then oh what's this oh my gosh how stunning is that a black I don't, I don't know it's not a crystal but it's a big bead it's like a it's like a 310 on steroids <laughs> And then we've got blue large crystals. Oh, and then we've got these ones here. Oh, but these ones are in rose gold. <gasps> Shall we check out where these go? Oh my gosh, I can't even, I can't even. And again, I don't know if you notice these ones. <clears throat> yeah, they've got static, maybe not as badly as affected as the other ones. But there is still a bit of static. So. Depending if my experiment works over there. Hey, watch this space, right? Watch this space. I cannot get over the amount of, I wonder if I can cash that in. <laughs> I wonder if I can cash that in and melt it into something. No, I'm joking. Don't, don't, don't take my word for anything. It's, um, <laughs> I'm being facetious. Oh, did I go through these? <gasps> I missed these ones. Why didn't you say something? I'm counting on you guys to keep me accountable here. <laughs> so long rectangle ones. Oh my gosh. And they're yellow. And then there's these aquamarine ones. And then these. I'm going to have to learn how to. Can you pick these up with a normal. See, that's the thing. Can you pick these up with a normal diamond painting pen? Are they tweezed on? It's going to be a whole new experience. I'll try and work it out on my own and then if I can't, then I'm going to have to <laughs> reach out to someone who's done it. I.e. Lisette, I'm coming after you. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and give it a go. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry guys, <clears throat> beforehand. All right, let's quickly go on a scavenger hunt and see, I wanna know where these go because I cannot see anywhere where these aquamarine things go. I really can't, it's blowing my mind. It's blowing my mind. Where are these? A23 is, oh, the up arrow. Okay, so it's here. All right, so these swirls here, deceptively, because I thought these here were going to be like a gray. They're going to be a blue or an aquamarine, turquoise -y. Oh my gosh, these twirls all around here. Line here, line here. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Here, here. Inside each one of these little shapey things, there's a line of these. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't even. And like, again, all along here is these ones here. <gasps> How? How are you doing? And all in here. Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't, this is, it's insane. It's not so much up in here. Not so much up in here, no. But it's in these twirls. So it's going to be in these twirls here. It's going to be inside each one of these shapes here is where we're gonna get this sparkle. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right. So A24 is oh it's like a like an m sort of shape n n for november hey, this is going to be because there's not many i'm going to be looking real hard i wonder if it's got anything to do with her necklace I'm going to be looking and looking and looking, guys, because there's not a lot to be... Anyone who's done this before, you're all screaming, going, Gracie, they're in this section. And I'm going, yes, but I can't hear you. <laughs> I don't know where they go. 
Right, let me lift it right up. So it's really going to be... I'm still tripping over those, um, those turquoisey ones. Come on, come on, come on. They're not jumping out at me, guys. I don't know, and I don't want to be spending too much time on it. And goodness gracious, A25, that's going to be even harder. It's a little A symbol. Have fun with that, Gracie. I'm hoping. That's going to be like almost next to impossible to absolutely find because look how many I've got to look for in this entire canvas, yeah? Uh -huh. But let's maybe go with the bigger ones. A27 is the number one. So that's, okay, I can see that straight away. That's in her bangle here. Okay, so that's in her bangle. That's these ones here. So she's going to have a blingy, blingy bangle. Then we move on to the silver ones here, A28, which is number two. Um, twos are up here. Two, 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 two. Two. <laughs> and then three is the A29. Oh, that's those black ones. I'm curious to know about that. A29 is the number three. Where have they put them? Where's number three? Oh, there's more twos here. But where's number three? Oh, okay, there's a three there. That's random. What's that? Randomly sitting like in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a three here. There's a three, a three, a three, a three, a three. So they're kind of... Okay, all right. So they're in there. All right, okay. That's where these big black ones go, the, the three tens on steroids. What did we get up to? And then we've got the blue ones on steroids, which is... Uh, 30, which is number four here. One, two, three, four, five. There, fours here. And then a four there. Okay. And then five is 31, which is the rose gold. And the fives will be going where, where, where? For art thou. I can see every other number except. Where's the fives? Where for art thou? Hmm. Eight, seven, eight, seven. Oh, I'm seeing every other number except. Oh, there's the three. Oh, there's more threes. There will be black in here as well. Where's the fives though? I bet you it'll jump. Oh, there's lots of ones in here. Ooh. It's only until you sit there and start looking at it closely, all these things pop up and just like smack you in the face like a cold fish. Ugh. Um, I don't know where the fives are. I'm sure they'll be in there somewhere. That much, I'm sure. Five, so 32. Then we go into these ones here, which is number six. I've got seven and eight. I haven't found... Oh, no, that's... So they're sevens. Okay, so let's do the ones that I can see. These big ones here. Okay. These go here, here. Can you see the shapes? Yeah. So they're sevens, they're sevens. There are sevens, sevens down here. And then the eights, which are the same size, but in a gold or yellow, they go here, 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 and here. And I still haven't found the fives. And they'll jump out, you know when I'm gonna see them, right? You know when I'm gonna see them. I'm gonna see them as soon as I finish taping. You know that's what's gonna happen. Oh my gosh, wow. Holy dooly, woman in gold, Gustav Klimt. 
you really got to be careful how you say that name. Um, oh, nearly fell there. I'll pop it to the side here. And here I'll put what the painting should look like just so that you can get that side by side sort of visual or what not what it should not what it should look like but what the original actual artist imp um, impression of it was so you'll be able to see but they're my two paintings oh my gosh it's gonna do my head in looking for those fives I'm gonna not be able to uh, put it away until I find it now where's my trusty let's see I have not yet had a diamond dots um, be inaccurate when it comes to size. Okay, so let's have a look. 67 by 91. Let's get our trusty friend out again. And we're looking for... Yep, she is dead spot on 67. By... Um, mm, see, it's not, once that is stretched out properly, that will be 91 because it's just falling a little bit short because it's rising up here. But yes, definitely true to size. So, <sighs> these are my two. They're not, uh, this is very, 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 very yellow. This is very, 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 very gold. Uh, somehow I wish that they were the same size. I don't know. Yeah, it would have been nice to have them both the same size because if you are going to display them, you know, but then you don't have to put them side by side. If you're a fan of this sort of artwork and you were going to do both of them, my suggestion would be to do both of them and if you're going to love them and want to frame them and have them done professionally, they would still look spectacular, but I would have them on different walls. I would just have them on different walls uh, purely because they do have the different palettes and because they are the different sizes so you could certainly you know uh, still appreciate uh, the artwork you know what's really cool guys about when you're doing something like the old masters or these old paintings is that we pay what we pay for the diamond painting right and we end up with such a spectacular version there if you want to put it that way because of the special diamonds and the drills and all of that sort of thing and if you're going to put that little bit of extra money into getting it framed you're still going to end up paying less than if you were to get like a duplicate painting from some art gallery or or whatever and you'll have the satisfaction of having you know diamond painted it as well that's what i love about these yeah so any artist painting you know we can buy a print and stick it up on our wall but when we do them and you know bring them to life so to speak with the sparkle and the twinkle and the everything else the satisfaction and the appreciation of the art that you know um just means so much more that's one of the reasons i love this craft work because i know that this is not my artwork i know that i didn't paint these but i love bringing them to life if you will if that's if that's the right way of putting it so i am going to Pause this a sec. I'm going to go check my freezer and see if those diamonds are ready to come out. All right, so I've had a quick look. Now, they've probably been in there about half an hour and it hasn't done diddly squat. It hasn't helped the cause at all. So, my next experiment will be to actually um, go ahead with my dryer sheets. Like I said, when I kit this up, it'll be literally, I'm going to cut drop a dry sheet in there, rub it all around like that first and then pour it into my container, okay? You don't want to be trying to put these into your containers whilst they're all staticky because you will be in a world of hurt. All right, let's be very, very careful not to get these mixed up. Although, interesting as I carefully do a comparison, these have got a blue strip on them. This is the woman in gold one, and this is the Klimt. So they are slightly different uh, in their packaging. All right, enough of that mucking around, guys. Let me put these all the way. They're all cold and a bit condensation now. 
Let me pop them up there. That is my lovely unboxing completed for today. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Wow, I, you know that I'm a, a bling bling person. So these I think are going to be completely up my alley, completely up my alley uh, for sure. It's just a matter of when I'm going to decide to do them. I don't know. I've got a few kits that I'm thinking of kitting up at the moment and I'm not sure if these ones are gonna make the cut just yet, but I will, I will. All right guys, well, let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts? What did you like? What did you see that I might have mucked up? Have you done them? Do you like them? Are you going to get them? Let me know all the things. All right, so with all that being said, I hope that wherever you are in your part of the world, that you are looking after yourselves, that you are looking after each other, okay? I wish for you an amazing rest of your week, a great rest of your day, okay? I am going to send you all very much love Oh, look, just like these two. Very much love, okay? And ciao, ciao for now.